So let's see, what have I covered? All right, the running condition of this motorcycle has been covered. Currently, it feels like it runs great. But when it starts up when it's cold, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the little cab that was on here was causing the, uh, the engine to vapor lock when fuel can't get into the engine because of an airflow problem. So when you have a vacuum, like a carburetor, and it's totally sealed, you'll end up having flow issues. And that's why these bikes have these tubes on top. But there's another thing I want to chat about. <clears throat> In the past, I've talked about getting like a, let's go this way. I've talked about getting some kind of a street bike that I could do some touring riding on and people have given me suggestions. I talked about it in the review video for this motorcycle actually. I also mentioned that I think bigger touring bikes and adventure bikes are dorky and that's a little more than I think I'm interested in. I love it because like people who comment on videos actually give me ideas of things to talk about that I haven't like written down already or even considered half the time. <laughs> so this guy commented on the video and he said hey why don't you get a concourse? It's like a cross between a sport bike and a touring bike. It's perfect or whatever, you know? And I knew used to know a guy that had a concourse and it's a big motorcycle, bro. But then recently I was doing this police motorcycle skills test, which I, I filmed, but I'm gonna wait for a really rainy day to upload that because I don't think it's very good. Um, I got there way early and the only guy that had showed up other than me was this guy in a concourse. And it was like, you know, it was 6 a.m. Sun wasn't up and I was freezing because it was like 45 degrees out. So I was warming up my hands and my engine and this guy who had ridden way farther than I had was just going on about his heated grips and, sh and all of his luxury that his concourse had. He was talking about his electronics and his GPS and dude, oh, I was so irritated. If you're going to say get a, get a concourse because it's more luxurious, you might as well say get a Goldwing. But if you're saying get a Goldwing because it's more luxurious, you might as well say go get a trike with a trailer on it. And if you get a trike with a trailer on it, you might as well just go get a mobile home. Like, you gotta draw the line somewhere on the roughness that you're that you're interested in. You know what I mean? It's kinda like it's kinda like a guy in a in a camper bragging to a guy who's tent camping that he has a pet. You know what I mean? Like the guy who's tent camping is doing that because it's what he wants. The guy who's in the camper is doing that because that's what he wants. Both are totally different types of activities in my mind. And I know I complain a lot about this thing's roadworthiness because of the one cylinder. It vibrates a lot and it's annoying and it's just not comfortable for a long-term road use because like at higher speeds, it's uncomfortable for lots of different reasons. But you should, I, I feel like you can, you can make those problems a little less bad without going to the opposite end of the spectrum. It's kind of like you can buy stuff to make camping easier without getting an RV in a bed. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go and get a foam sleeping pad and you can get a warmer sleeping bag and you can get a better tent and you can be more comfortable in that same environment. So that's kind of the route that I'm, I'm taking. I'm, I mean, I'm not complaining about getting suggestions for bikes. I'm just saying when it comes to a concourse or it comes to a big bike like that, I don't quite understand it. I feel like you're I feel like it's an it's an RV guy talking to a tent guy and bragging about it. I feel like those are the that's a pretty good analogy for it. To me, it's a different thing. It's a totally different thing. Maybe when I'm an old man, I'm gonna want myself a big bike. And I know that if you're you're a big guy, you gotta have a bigger motorcycle, and that's totally fine. Oh, I'm just so tired of people like bragging about the power. Oh, this thing can keep up with all the faster sport bikes. Like I'm sure, I'm sure it can. But you don't look nearly as cool. You don't. You spent more money to get more luxury, and that's it's fine. You get what you pay for. I spent three thousand five hundred on this. It does everything I want a motorcycle to do, except you know, be comfortable at eighty miles an hour. So anyway, I think that's I think that's an interesting an interesting perspective that nobody really talks about. We're all on two wheels, but they're vastly different types of two wheels. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see if we can get out of here alive. I love just riding around and discovering little patches of dirt like this because you would never discover this in a car. Like, I'm just riding around a neighborhood. I come to the end of the neighborhood. There's a dirt road. I go down the dirt road, and I notice a trail that goes off with tire marks in it. And I just, and here I am in this weird trash pit. Ooh, I bet you homeless people live down here. Let's go find them. Let's go find the homeless people.
basically a bunch of clothing and trash, really. I don't understand the need to do all that. I mean, it goes back in there. Oh, dude, I bet you someone's living in there. Oh, yeah. I'm not going in. They can fucking do their meth. I don't care. I don't have a weapon. So I'm not going to investigate that. Hang out in your hidey hole. Do your meth. There's definitely like a tent in there or something. It was like a makeshift tent made out of tarps. Hmm. The shit you find when you're fucking around. Where should I go? I don't know. I don't even know what road this is. Oh, it's Glendale. I'll just take Glendale. All right, well, thanks everybody for paying attention. <laughs> I'm kind of off schedule right now because I'm trying to move and there's the holiday situation and then just, I don't know, man. Certain things that go on that you just kind of got to make them priorities. And so all the, all the time I have for camping and stuff is on the weekends. And right now that time is consumed by other stuff, so. It'll go on, just, uh, you know, not right now. <laughs>